hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we shall be taking up another question from iit jam 2018 right this is a mcq type question and it is a one mark so the question here says that in r cube that means in three dimension the cosine of the acute angle between two surfaces so you are given this as the first surface this as the second surface so you are to determine what is the cos of the angle made between these two surfaces at the given point 2 1 2 so that is the question here okay so now in order to solve this question for the solution let's see what is the idea behind the solution so here you are given two surfaces right and you are to determine at the point 2 1 2 what is the angle right so this is asked originally in the question so this same angle would be present between the two tangent planes at the point the given point 2 1 2 corresponding to the given surfaces so that means whatever is the angle between two surfaces the same angle would be covered or would be formed by the two tangent planes so because it is difficult to calculate directly the angle between two surfaces we'll go by firstly calculating the equations for tangent plane and then we'll use the formula corresponding to calculate angle between two planes that we already know right so this is the idea so here let me call this as the first surface and this as the second surface over here so that is what i'm doing so this is our first surface and this is our second surface so now in order to calculate the equation for tangent plane you should know the formula for that so suppose this is our point which is also given to be in the question so let me call this as point p so uh, and uh, so we uh, suppose we wanted to calculate the tangent plane corresponding to some random surface s so corresponding to that surface your tangent plane is given by this equation x minus this x, to, x coordinate of the point p into the partial derivative of that surface with respect to x calculated at the given point p and then y minus the y coordinate this one into the partial derivative of this given surface with respect to y calculated at the point p and similarly for the z coordinate so this is the equation of tangent plane so this is the standard equation now we will calculate the tangent planes corresponding to these two surfaces so according to that firstly we we have to calculate the partial derivatives uh, with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z for the surface 1 and then we'll calculate it for the second surface right so firstly i have to calculate del s y del uh, del s1 by del x then del s1 by del y and then del s1 by del z and similarly i'll do that for the second surface so it would be this right so let's first compute that for first surface so if you uh, see your first surface is this one s1 that is given to be x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 is equal to 0 and your s2 that is given to be z minus x square minus y square plus 3 is equal to 0 so we have to compute these partial derivatives so when you take the partial derivative with respect to x it would be 2x it would be 2y and it would be 2z so computing these values at the point p so let me write down at p what is the value here so first of all let me calculate these derivatives also so when you compute the partial derivative of this surface s2 with respect to x so it would just be for this term other terms would be zero so it would be minus 2x with respect to y it would be for this term so it would be minus 2y with respect to z so it would be corresponding to this term only so it would be minus uh, plus 1 right yes plus 1 okay so now what is the value of all these derivatives at the point p what is the point p 
that is given to be 212 right the point where you are required to calculate the tangent planes so you just have to substitute the values here so the x coordinate here is 2 so this value is 4 right here the y coordinate is 1 so its value is 2 here the z coordinate is 2 right so its value is 4 so these are the two values for the first surface three values for the first surface similarly we will uh, substitute the same point into these derivatives also so when you substitute the value your first value is minus 4 your second value is minus 2 and your third value is 1 only because this is a constant right so these are the three values for the second surface so let's substitute all these values in equation number 3 so we'll be getting the equation of our tangent plane right so your tangent plane for the first surface so let me write down here tangent plane for surface s1 it would be x minus 2 plus y minus 1 plus z minus 2 is equal to 0 right so i have written down these values now i have to write down the values for these derivatives so for first surface the value is 4 2 and 4 so let me write it down here so it is multiplied by 4 it is multiplied by 2 it is multiplied by 4 so you just have to simplify this so let's do that so it would be 4x plus 2y plus 4z then minus 8 minus 2 minus 8 is equal to 0 right so it would be what this value would be 4x plus 2y plus 4z and this would be minus 18 is equal to 0 so let me call this as equation number 4 and similarly the tangent plane corresponding to for the second surface so it would be x minus 2 into the first value that is minus 4 then minus 2 and 1 so minus 4 plus y minus 1 into minus 2 plus z minus 2 into 1 right so i have just substituted these three values in the equation number third this one so that's why i got this equation and when you simplify this so you will be obtaining minus 4x minus 2y plus z and then you have plus 8 plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 or you have the value as 4x plus 2y minus z minus 8 is equal to 0 so let's call that as equation number 5 so this is the equation for tangent plane corresponding to second surface this is the equation for tangent plane corresponding to first surface so now the next task is to compute angle between these two planes so if you remember from your previous classes we have this formula where the angle between two planes first plane is say a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equal to 0 and the second plane is a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equal to 0 so these two are the planes then the angle made between these two planes is given by this formula cosine of the angle right so we'll apply the same on to our planes over here so according to that our cos of theta would be a1 here is 4 a2 here is 4 right so it would be 4 into 4 then we have b1 into b2 that is 2 into 2 right plus 4 into minus 1 divided by square root of 4 square plus 2 square plus 4 square and then square root of 4 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 square right so this becomes 16 plus 4 plus 16 plus 4 minus 4 divided by 16 plus 4 that is 20 plus 16 so it would be 36 square root uh, and it this would be 16 plus 4 20 plus so it would be 21 so you have here the value as 16 divided by 6 square root 21 or in simpler fractions it would be 
3 and this would be 8. So you have 8 divided by 3 square root 21. So this is the value which you got after solving this expression and this gave you the cosine of the angle formed between two tangent planes corresponding to the two given surfaces S1 and S2. So this is the same angle which the two surfaces make at the point 2 comma 1 comma 2 the given point. So therefore uh, the correct option here is option number C right. So the cosine of angle which is formed by the given two surfaces at the point 2 1 2 that is 8 divided by 3 square root 21. So I hope you understood this concept and this question well. Well I'll see you in the next question. Thank you for watching.